At the start of February, Bitcoin was trading at 42,000. And today we are sustaining prices above 50,000. This is fantastic progress and a really good sign. And in the past videos on this channel, for about a month, we've been talking about the trapped liquidity setup. And if you look at the last video, we discussed the potential of 60,000 if certain conditions were met. Now, I know a lot of people in crypto have an attention span shorter than a goldfish, but the setup is still playing out. This is the weekly chart. Things don't happen overnight. If you're trading the weekly chart, it usually takes weeks for your setup to play out. So in today's video, I wanna update you on this bullish trapped liquidity setup, which is currently in play. All of this and more in today's video. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson. Today is Saturday, February 17th, and Bitcoin is still hanging out above the $50,000 level. So despite what the critics and the skeptics may say, we're above 50,000, and that is not what they expected. Bitcoin is usually 50% below the all-time high during the halving, and we're already only 25% below the all-time high. So we're ahead of schedule and things are going fantastic for the Bitcoin market. I have not made a video in a couple days on this channel. I was sick over the past two days, but I am feeling better today. And the last thing I posted on the community tab here was this image, which I also posted on Twitter. And what I was saying was sideways action before continuation is not just possible, it's very likely, it's never a straight line up. And a lot of people in crypto have the attention span of a goldfish. And so if the price isn't going straight up or straight down, they get a little frustrated. But the interesting fact is the most likely direction in the market at any given moment is sideways, sideways. And I just wanted to bring this to your attention because the human brain is set up for immediate survival. So we're always expecting huge pumps, huge dumps, sort of in the immediate term, but it's usually never like that. And I know a lot of people are gonna be asking, so I'm just gonna answer this really quickly. This is the total three, the altcoin market. When Bitcoin goes sideways, it usually does initiate alt season. This is the Bitcoin orange line and the total three, the market cap of the altcoins. Looking a little bit closer on the daily chart, the 2020 zone before we had a major, major alt season. This is a big interest that people have, so it's worth mentioning that there is time, a bit of a lag in between a Bitcoin breakout and an altcoin breakout. The sideways action initiates alt season to occur. On YouTube, I try to stick to Bitcoin. In my Patreon, that's where I talk about the altcoins that I'm buying. So be sure to join Patreon if you're interested in that. Now, just to remind you guys what a trapped liquidity setup really means is, so major red wick inside of a trending market, 20 EMA up at a 45 degree angle, price breaks above the wick high, okay. Liquidity is trapped, shorts are squeezed, and now the setup is underway. With all these short positions in that candle, when you break this price right here, essentially what it does is it weakens the resistance because all of the shorts are forced out. And so when you break this wick high, it's sort of like a little bit of an earthquake that rattles that resistance range and also incites bullish speculation as the price is moving up and we're squeezing and there's FOMO. And the only way that this setup would be invalid is if we break below the weekly candle low, because this is the target candle. The target candle is that rejection candle. Everything is telling me that this setup is still good to go, still underway, and we're gonna just wait for it to play out. And on Twitter, I've been releasing these videos um, where I've been sort of just filming the, my screen with my hand, but people love these kind of videos and it got really good feedback here. And I appreciate all you guys supporting me on Twitter. And I made a video about right here, I was discussing the steepness of the trend. It's getting pretty steep, right? It's a parabola. And when you look at the definition of a parabola, it usually includes the idea of unsustainability. And this is exactly what happened in 2017, where you would have these short-term parabolic trends that break down into larger parabolic trends that break down into even larger parabolic trends that break down into the ultimate parabolic trend of the 
cycle. The reason why I'm bringing all of this up is because we are getting to the point where this trend is becoming very, very steep. And at some point it will become unsustainable and it will be forced to break down and become a larger trend. But step number one is to squeeze our target candle, that rejection candle, up to our trap liquidity short squeeze target of 60,000 or 60,400. And that could put us in a zone of unsustainable price appreciation, which initiates a short-term downtrend to gather more support at lower levels, allow the parabolic trend to expand into a larger trend, and then continue on from there. This is currently my expectation moving forward. And that means that Bitcoin could be at prices lower than where we are now after the halving, putting us back in the mid 40s, generating a larger parabolic advance before the actual all-time high is reached. And what does this mean? Well, it's coming full circle. Just like we discussed at the beginning of the video, the most likely direction in the market at any given time is sideways. Well, that's sideways action, at least in my book. That means from now until July, ultimately the, the direction could be sideways with just high volatility in between. Even though I'm bullish right now and I'm talking about price targets like 60,000 and everyone thinks that I'm just being a moon boy, my expectation is actually sideways until July. Maybe not July specifically, but something along those lines. Big pumps, big dumps, you know, recovery, and then up. And then most of the gains usually take place in a really, really short period of time, right? If you look at the last cycle, when Bitcoin broke that, that high before going to 65, we went from what, like 12K to 65K in 25 weeks. That's it guys, 25 weeks, that's all your gains. And then you go sideways, again, most likely direction is sideways. Looking at 2017 bull market, when you break the all time high, 32 weeks, that's it. And then sideways for years. Most likely direction is sideways and all the gains happen in a really short period of time. So you really gotta be in the mindset of taking profit when the time comes. And looking at my Bitcoin having cycle profit indicator, I manually plotted these lines here to go along with how the indicator plots previous cycles. You have like 25, 35 weeks of your profit zone after the halving and that and then you need to start taking profits. So like January of 2025 is when you need to start taking profits. And by October of 2025 is when you need to be out of the market. That is the profit end zone 80 weeks after the halving. You know, a lot of sideways action usually takes place even in parabolic trends, just like this. All your gains happen in a short period of time, 25 to 35 weeks and then a lot of sideways action at the top before down again. And that is just the nature of markets. That's just how it goes, guys. So this is sort of my expectation right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like, subscribe. And guys, be sure to join the Patreon. We have limited slots. You can lock in these prices now for a lifetime. You can also save on a 16% annual discount. Or if you guys want to pay in crypto, you can message me on Discord. I'll post my Discord account below. Message me on Discord and you get an even cheaper option for the annual discount. If you pay me directly in crypto, you can join the Discord, which is where all the Patreon content is posted. Pay in crypto, get a super discount, and be in there for the next year. Dirt cheap, guys. All right, if you guys wanna do that, just let me know. I'll post all the links below, and I'll see you all in the next video.